As the waves crashed and the seagulls cried on the shores of Daytona Beach in 2024, something happened that would forever change the way I thought about the Harley-Davidson Grand American Touring Line. And that, my friends, is the 2024 Road Glide. I am FXDLS Brooklyn, and if you couldn't tell by my name, I am a certified Dyna Bro. For the better part of a decade at this point, when it comes to the quote-unquote Harley-Davidson touring model, for me, this would look like this, and this, and even this. So yeah, I never really saw much value in the Grand American Touring line, and honestly, I would often steer people away from it for a lot of different reasons. In this video, we're going to discuss the factors that you should take into consideration before you buy a 2024 Road Glide. Let's get into it. What's going on, YouTube? FXCLS Brooklyn is back in the building. So, a small brief history lesson. For decades at this point, the Harley-Davidson Grand American Touring Line has dominated sales within the general market. If you found yourself at any main motorcycle rally in the United States, streets lined with ultras, street glides, road glides, and road kings was an extremely common sight. However, a few years back at this point, something began to change with the way people viewed and thought about these bikes. Whereas they were once typically seen as the slow road sofas, aka the old man bike, people were now starting to take these bikes and mod them out to prioritize performance. This would of course be a lot of people from the younger generation of riders, and this idea took the riding community by storm, leading to most notably the Bagger Racing League, the Road Glide and Street Glide ST, as well as countless jaw-dropping custom performance bagger builds. So yeah, the first thing I'll say is that it's really refreshing to see that Harley-Davidson once again in recent times clearly has their finger on the pulse. If nothing else, this bike is clearly a direct result from the recent performance bagger movement. So with that being said, straight from the eyes of a Dynabro who thrives on the sport touring world, these are the highlights that I think are worth talking about in terms of this new 2024 Road Glide. In the year of 2024, let it be known that this is the first Harley-Davidson I had ever ridden where I truly felt like no immediate modifications were needed to rip heavy mile days. Most notably for me is both the bars and the seat, which if you rode these bikes years ago like me, they were pretty horrendous. The new seat is not only extremely comfortable, but truly achieves the purpose of locking in the rider while also looking pretty good aesthetically. Standing at 5'7", the bars were actually the perfect height for me. I crushed miles all day with this bar setup, never once feeling fatigued anywhere. So yeah, those of us who have been in the game for a minute talk about the Harley tax, which is the idea that you have to immediately make changes straight out of the showroom. You can truly run this bike hard straight out of the showroom with no changes at all, and this is something I definitely took note of. The last road glide I rode was back in the Pacific Northwest. It was one of the early Milwaukee 8 models, and man, do I gotta tell you, the 2024 road glide might as well be defined as a completely different bike. The combination of the weight cut, the 117 Milwaukee 8 motor, as well as the upgraded suspension, this bike blew me away in terms of performance in comparison to the 2019 one that I rode previously. This bike took off like a rocket, was easy to throw around in a multitude of situations, could stop on a dime, and is inherently built to crush miles for the bike trips. So yeah. As someone coming directly from the sport touring world, this bike really does check all the boxes. The one bonus about this bike that actually gives it an edge over the Lowrider ST is the fact that this engine is partially liquid cooled. This is a welcome feature for those of us who ride through heat waves as well as put in the city miles. So the short end of it, as you can see if you look through the spec sheets, this bike is coming in both lighter and faster than the previous Road Glide ST as well as all of the previous Road Glides. So yeah, you could say it got my attention with that. 
It is clear that Harley Davidson shaved weight from this bike wherever they could, most notably from the redesigned tank as well as the fairing. This cut in weight, I believe, is a major contributing factor as to why this bike handles so much more nimbly, feels so much faster, and brakes so much harder than the previous models I've ridden. One of the most notable things I have to say about this bike is the bike just no longer feels as heavy to me, especially in the fairing. This was one aspect that actually turned me off of the road glide previously, was the feeling of so much weight in the fairing creating this top heavy feeling. The 2024 road glide makes this top heavy feeling a thing of the past, achieving a welcome, noticeable lightness that anyone serious about performance is gonna love. So from big things like the redesigned tank, the redesigned saddlebag, the elimination of the dual gauges, and of course the upgraded lighting, to the smaller things like this amazing new gas cap design, as well as the snap down storage pods in the fairing, the 2024 Road Glide really does convey a general feeling of true refinement in comparison to the previous models. From the perspective of the rider, the refined feeling carries true, as you have a very clean dash setup as the infotainment will be projecting your gauges digitally. So yeah, the combination of some major and minor changes combines together to produce a bike that is surprisingly all around different in the right direction from its predecessors. One of my favorite things in terms of the new design is the fact that Harley is clearly acknowledging the performance bagger scene and making it easier to do modifications such as the bars, where they added a clamp and riser setup, making it easier for you to run a different bar setup if you so choose. So coming from someone who's been preaching the Lowrider ST gospel for years, where the Lowrider ST will overtake this bike in terms of weight and performance, this bike will be the winner when it comes down to true comfort. The combination of tried and true ergonomics of the touring frame combined with all these enhancements that I mentioned above makes this bike possibly one of the smoothest Harley Davidsons I have ever laid down miles on. This bike clearly achieves what it was designed for, which is to invite the rider to lay down heavy mile days without sacrificing comfort. It's clear that an extensive amount of research has been done optimizing the aerodynamics of this bike, as for me, especially with this adjustable windshield, it was the perfect amount of wind in all conditions. The upgraded suspension made this bike smoothly devour any irregularities in the road, dampening the impact way before it would hit the rider. With the combination of a premium seat as well as these redesigned bars, this bike puts you in a sustainable and comfortable riding position where you could crush your 700 plus mile days like a boss, but also still be in an aggressive enough riding position to throw this bike around when you want to. This to me was one of the more surprising things. Considering what the previous performance Road Glide ST was coming in at, I really did assume that the MSRP on this bike would be coming in well over $30,000 for what this bike offers straight out the box. I'm not really sure how they're able to offer this bike at an MSRP around $26,000, but damn, if I was in the market for a new bike, that would definitely be a factor for me, especially for a bike that could potentially run for a lifetime. The Lowrider ST is only coming in $2,000 less. I used to push people towards the Lowrider ST due to the cost differential. However, with this reduced MSRP with this 2024 Road Glide, it definitely has stepped up as a main contender for anyone who wants touring capabilities while maintaining true performance. So yeah, you guys know me, I've never really been a bagger guy, forever living in the sport touring world of Dynas, FXRs, and Lowrider STs. Before I rode this bike, I used to write off the entire touring line as excessive weight that would slow you down and cost you more money. This 2024 Road Glide has completely changed my outlook on what the modern touring platform is and can offer. This bike is labeled as a touring model, however, the aspect that came through to me the clearest was the true performance that it also offered. If they wanted to relabel this bike as an ST or something that hinted at performance, I wouldn't disagree. For those who want to go fast and go far, I would always tell people to go with a lowrider ST if they can make it work. However, based off of everything we discussed above, I would now urge people to also consider this 2024 Road Glide, especially because they are both so damn near close in cost. 
The truth is, both the Lowrider ST as well as this new 2024 Road Glide achieve a very similar purpose. So at the end of the day, you really just need to get out there and test ride all these bikes before making an informed decision. So am I becoming FLH Brooklyn anytime soon? Well, I don't know about that. But did this bike change my mind on the modern Harley Davidson touring platform as well as the performance bagger scene in general? It 100% did. So if you enjoyed this one, we're only just getting started because coming next is a monster that is sleeping at the bottom of the ocean. A great white shark ready to devour all who stand in its path. Stay tuned for that one as I'm excited to tell you more about this new journey of mine as I get a taste of the performance bagger life. As always, if you ride fast and ride far, take a moment to like this video and consider subscribing. We do have a Patreon for some deeper cuts and deeper miles. As always, whether you're ripping the sport touring line or the performance bagger line, stay safe and stay low. Practice a positive mental attitude, and on that, FX DLS Brooklyn is out.